It's starting to look like the penny has finally dropped for Dillian White uh, when it comes to where he stands with Matchroom, uh, the AJ fight, and just what they think of him. That's what I think anyway. I think the penny has finally dropped. He suddenly understood that he's not worth much. And recently he's been, uh, I don't know who he spoke to, I think it was Sun Sport or someone like that. He gave uh, some quotes. And basically, Dillian White isn't happy with Matchroom. He's not happy with the zone. He's not happy with the fact that he's not getting the AJ fight. What he had to say was basically, um, he first and foremost doesn't understand why they're choosing a low profile American for Joshua's comeback um, when they could have an all British tear up that everyone wants to see. Valid point if you ask me. He called it the Battle of the Fools. Um, I'm guessing it's a play on it being on April Fools and the fact that the bunch of fools fighting or he perceives it as a bunch of fools fighting or fools involved in the fight. Um, he also said, which I think is pretty interesting, or Basically, before the AJ, uh, sorry, Dillian White Franklin fight, he was saying the winner gets AJ, the winner gets AJ. That's how he was um, trying to motivate Jermaine Franklin. And Dillian White's basically saying that I was bit better off losing and getting the AJ fight than winning and not getting the AJ fight. Which, again, fair point. Financially, he would have been better off losing and getting the AJ fight. If you think about it, there's no guarantees in the get it in the summer. And I think that the penny has finally dropped for Dillian White when it comes to this. Uh, last thing he said was he basically said that he understands that the zone have got to protect AJ and uh, should AJ lose again. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go into what they said uh, word for word, but he basically said that they're going to have egg on their faces. <laughs> and that that's, uh, you, you guys don't have to research the quote. It's saying about limp body parts in hands and you guys can fill out the blanks. So I make Dillian White fairly right on this i don't really disagree with anything he said i think that um aj is being protected and for a reason uh aj can't afford another loss i believe that's true i think the zone don't want him to take any hard fights till he's ready i believe that's true as well um and yeah i i fully agree the only thing that i'm a little bit disappointed is that dillian white didn't see this sooner or say something sooner um i think this might be the end of dillian the match room to be honest with you um if he has seen what I think he's seen, and, and I know he's always been the second heavyweight of Matchroom, I, I get that, but now he's a nobody, like for them anyway, um, as far as I'm concerned, I, I know Matchroom got a, um, an announcement coming up tomorrow, I think it is for their next few fine nights, it'd be interesting to see if Dillian White is a part of that, I mean he might be, if that is then maybe he's still part of the, uh, the, uh, the zone family, Matchroom family, but I got a sneaky suspicion that Dillian White may not be fighting for them, for too much longer if he's got title aspirations if he wants to um go on and have another run i personally i think the best place for him is frank warren he can take out dubois if he's got it in him and he can take out joyce if he's got it in him and then get the rematch with fury uh, does i say you do fury's work, dirty work he's going to give you that fight in my opinion anyway since dillian made these quotes since he said these things um eddie hearn has had a chance to respond um, I saw it in a boxing social interview posted earlier this morning after the Amanda Serrano fight, so it's still fairly recent. And what he said in the interview um, when he was asked about Dillian White comments, he didn't really say much, to be honest with you. What he said was, he said that Dillian White had a close fight with Franklin, and it could have gone either way, according to a lot of people. And then he said, um, they're open to fighting Dillian White in the summer. And then he said... AJ made the choice and that's what he went with and then he moved on that was it he barely even acknowledged it um, didn't uh, just didn't go deep into it put it that way he literally said what I said there three quick things about the fight and moved on onto another AJ related uh, topic or question I can't even remember so Eddie Hearn just dismissed it I really want to know what fights they're going to announce uh, this week and if Dillian White is a part of that and if he's not maybe it is time to leave the ship you know leave the, the mother ship and go somewhere else I mean looking at it like he did get his best ever payday biggest publicity and everything fighting on one frank warren card that one time i mean frank warren i mean people think like oh eddie hearn was great this that, and the other but people have leaving eddie hearn ship was really really quick i mean coley's gone recently liam smith oh you guys know the list as well as i do man people are like flocking to other networks even potentially joshua brazzi to be fair well i mean what was he doing at bt the other day i might do a video on that at some point um depending on how it all develops all right guys that's all i've got for this one um what do you guys think about the whole situation um do you believe that like dillian light has finally seen the light and he might um take his career into his own hands and move elsewhere for a last stint of his career or do you think he's gonna hold out in the hope for that anti joshua fight which to be honest I can't see him getting. I just got a feeling that they're not interested in that fight because if they were, they would have made it 
uh, for this one here. There's no reason why they couldn't have done. It's an easy enough fight for AJ if you ask me. If he's still got anything left. But yeah. Uh, like, comment, share and subscribe. Or don't. And I'll catch you on the next one. Love.